What is the best mall in Malaysia? Pavilion. Like things are popping out of that screen. Happy Chinese New Year. Wow. Hello, how are you? Good. I am very good. You're very good. Are you from Malaysia? Yes. Very nice, very nice. Do you love hanging out in the malls? Malaysia, good. Which is, your, which is the best mall in Malaysia? Malaysia. Uh, best mall? Best mall, yes. I've never seen a pink dragon before. It goes deep out here. Honestly, I'm a little bit scared. Is it possible to try out the massage chair? Yes, sure. Oh, cool. All right. I feel like I'm getting into a spaceship. I probably look so funny right now. What's up guys? I'm here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and I'm actually just walking through one of the streets that's in a pretty central part of the city. Um, I don't remember what it's called but I know that I'm near a bunch of malls, a bunch of restaurants. In fact, if you look around here, hello, um, what, what is this? Which is the best one? Mango is the best. Mango? Oh wow, look at this. Juice Manga Lele. Yeah, let's do it. I'll, I'll try one. Oh man, right away and I'm already getting a drink. Honestly, it's a little bit humid out here. My throat's a little bit weird. So getting refreshing drinks, kind of doing it all day long. It's super good. This looks bomb. Oh my gosh, I can smell it. It smells really good. Looks like it's four or how much is it? Four. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Hey, so uh, what is the best mall in Malaysia? Pavilion. Twin Towers. And the Twin Towers. Okay, and Pavilion is over here, right? I'm nearby? Okay. All right, thank you so much, sir. Oh my God. This is so delicious. Thank you very much. Wow. This is so good. Oh man. But in this area, there's so much to see. Look at this. There's a cheese potato. You can tell there's a lot of, a lot of people walking around from all over the world. This looks like some very trendy clothes. I see um, Palm Angeles. Yeah, there's some designer brands out here. Um, 99 Heaven Juice. Look at these foods. This looks like it's a little bit more local foods. Man, I've had a chance to try some of the foods out here. Whoa, look at these desserts. Oh, wow. This, uh, this drink is super refreshing. Yeah, I've had a chance to try a few foods, but as I walk around, I'm seeing more and more, and it's, it's becoming apparent to me that I need to eat a lot here in my short time that I have because there's, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Um, there's just so much food that I need to try because it's like, everything's new to me. Everything's new to me. Look at that, this is beautiful. Is this like a restaurant or a bar? I don't know what this is. I mean, there's obviously tables, so. Um, yeah, maybe it's a restaurant. Super pretty, look at the tiles, the chairs. Nisa, if you're watching this, my sister, I know she would love to decorate the house like this. That's an awesome style. Um, but look at this, yeah. So like, I actually have been looking to get like a souvenir or something. Um, I haven't seen a single gift shop my whole time here. So let's go in and see if we can find something. Wow, airplanes. <laughs> Those are cool. I'm not used to seeing airplanes at, um, at like gift shops. Okay, we've got keychains. This is the Middle Asian flag with um, the, the twin towers on there. Super nice. Okay, yeah, I think I want to find a magnet though. Are these magnets? Yeah, these are magnets. Okay, which one should I get? <clears throat> these are super cool. Yeah, so like as you can see from the actual uh, the gifts, they're really highlighting all of the things that stand out of Malaysia. So you got the Twin Towers. Oh, this is a bottle. Actually, I think I might want a bottle opener. Super cool. This one's a, a pineapple. You know what? This pineapple thing out here, I, I have not tried a pineapple in Malaysia yet. This one actually has a thermometer on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, maybe I'll do, I think this is a durian or a jackfruit. That's awesome. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do this. It's probably a lot that I'm missing here. It looks like they have a bunch of bags back there. I see backpacks, belts, and then you have some snacks and food in the back over here. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this magnet. This is pretty cool. Oh! To key, it's a thermometer, a can opener, or a bottle opener, and a magnet. That's perfect. Hello. Yes, we get them. I'll yes. take this. Thank you. Yeah, eight ringgit. 
How are you doing today? Three <laughs> Makasi. Okay, cool. I'm not a big souvenir guy, but I like to buy things that are functional, and I will use a bottle opener. Okay, let's keep on going. Um, so as you can see, this is a beautiful city. If you look around, huge buildings and malls. I, I think, oh yeah, I can actually see it right there. There's Pavilion. I think I'm gonna check out Pavilion today. Um, I know I walked through the base of it the other day. Actually, on my, my very first time here, one of the first things I did was walk through the center of the pavilion. But I actually didn't go up or down or explore the mall, so I'm hoping I can check it out today. Uh, I walked across the street, now I'm in front of the H&M, and it looks like if I walk in this direction, there's still a lot to see. I can see the pavilion tower right there. So that's the direction I want to go because I'm super excited to explore the pavilion mall. Um, I, I walked through before and I didn't really get a chance to go up and down and to really check out the mall. So let's let's try to work toward that direction. Sweet potato factory. I love sweet potatoes. That looks really good. What is this? Oh, whoa, Wagyu, Wagyu Kushi. Whoa, is this Wagyu? I wonder how much that is. I, I don't actually know if they're open. They've got um, everything blocked off right here. Okay, maybe I'll come back when they open up, but that smells amazing. Oh my gosh, they have, <laughs> I didn't realize, I forget, is this Dodonki or something? Oh, I'm, I'm under it right now. Let's check this out. Don Don Donkey. Oh my gosh, I've been to like four of these in Japan. I had no idea they existed in Malaysia. How do I get in? Let's see. Look at all this stuff. There's a bunch of uh, Japanese signs right here. Phuket Bintei Entrance. Look how beautiful this is. Like, they really decorate every single inch. This is just like an alleyway. And they've got all these super pretty lights right here. Okay, I'm gonna keep going because I know that if I go into the Don Don Donkey, I will get lost and I'll be in there for a long time. So I wanna stick to the mission. And I know you guys are here to see the mall, so I'm gonna make sure that I get over to the mall. This is a 7-Eleven. Um, I actually have not yet been inside a 7-Eleven. Um, I know that when I'm in other places, I always try to compare and look at what the, like for example, McDonald's looks like in every country. What is it like inside a 7-Eleven in another country? Um, the last country I was in didn't even have 7-Eleven. So yeah, at some point I'll have to work, work my way in there and, and see how it differs from the other places. That looks bomb. Wow. All of these places look very, very trendy, very clean, and definitely very delicious. Oh my gosh, this is a Sephora. Look how big. I have never seen a Sephora this size before. Sephora, am I saying it right? Sephora, it's probably Sephora. Let me know in the comments if I'm just totally butchering these names. But oh my gosh. If I wore makeup, this seems like it would be makeup heaven. That is huge. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you guys how happy I am right now. Just, I haven't even really gone inside anything. I'm just walking around the town. There's music playing on all the sides. Got a nice cool breeze walking through the shade. And look how beautiful everything is. Got a bunch of flags over there. It, the first thing I think of when I see the Malaysian flag is I, I think it's an American flag, especially when it's like down, because it's so similar to my country's own flag. And then I think on either side, those other flags I think those are from the area that I'm in, like the, maybe like a sub-district or something. But again, let me know in the comments what those uh, are colors. It's uh, yellow, blue, red with a, a symbol in the middle. Let me know what that's about. Fahrenheit 88, Uniqlo. <laughs> this is a Uniqlo shirt. I am in love with Uniqlo once I discovered it. I wear all Uniqlo stuff. Tutti Frutti. Oh, look how big everything is. There's a huge Rolex sign on the wall over there. So I'm guessing I'm 
really making it into the like very designer designer goods. We've got a huge cup of noodles right here. Cup of noodles. Super pretty. So like where else can you go in the world where there's gonna be an advertisement for noodles. Like literally this is a noodle advertisement. This big. Right in the middle of like the square of the city, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Look at this, Star Hill. I can see all these buildings way off in the distance. Every intersection I walk through, there's just something new to see. And then it looks like this is the entrance to the Pavilion Mall. Yeah. They've got an awesome fountain going into those bowls right in the middle. And then some extra lit up decorations on either side. Looking up at this, you have a massive 3D screen. I'll see if I can walk over into like a, a better part. That way the, the 3D screen looks the way it's supposed to look. <laughs> Crossing these streets are crazy. People just weave through all the cars. I guess this is what a Malaysian... Is this a police car? Oh look, we have some people over here doing a TikTok. <laughs> cool. But yeah, so this is the 3D screen right behind me. As you can see, <laughs> it looks so cool. It looks like things are popping out of that screen. Happy Chinese New Year. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So sick. Can't believe I'm here. The city is so cool. Oh look, we have another one. Well, if you guys think I should do some dances like that, let me know in the comments. I don't think I want to. Here we are at the entrance of Pavilion, and before even walking in, just huge, huge decorations. Everything is so huge. I don't know, I need to stop saying that word, because it's, I can't stop thinking it. And I already feel the air conditioner. Okay, it feels very good in here. Uh, walking into a mall is one of the best feelings when you're out in the heat all day and all of a sudden you just get a nice refreshing coolness on your skin. But here we are, right at the main entrance. Uh, I'm gonna take a second to pause the video because I think something's going on with my camera. So I'll be right back guys. As you can see, it is beautiful here. I love all the red, all the lanterns. Look at all these like fake plants, but everything is illuminated. Hello, how are you? I am very good. You're very good. Are you from Malaysia? Yes. Very nice, very nice. Do you love hanging out in the malls? Malaysia, good. Which is, your, which is the best mall in Malaysia? Malaysia. Uh, best mall? Best mall, yes. Uh, this one? This is the best one. Okay. Okay. It's absolutely beautiful. Is there uh, anything? What's your favorite part about the mall here? Yeah. What do you like to do in the mall? <laughs> okay. Very nice to meet you, sir. Have a wonderful day. Oh, this is beautiful. It feels crazy to just walk through all this because there's just. It's very three-dimensional, you know? It's like, there's things hanging, there's all this stuff on the side. There's hella people out here. Oh, the, look at this pink. I've never seen a pink dragon before. Look at that. Oh my God, 
I need to walk through the middle. There's a bunch, I didn't even see, there's a bunch of dragons. We have a yellow one here on the left. There's a bunch of beautiful flowers here. What is this? We have a, a bank right here, and then it looks like we've got some teas, maybe? We have the, the famous kitten thing. Oh, I've never seen the ones with the tail, that's super cool. Hello. So is this all for the Chinese New Year? Chinese New Year? How long will it be happening until February? Okay, wow. Yeah, thank you. And then there's a nice big screen right up in front. But look at these dragons. Those are cool. Sick. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I can't go through here. Let's turn, let's turn around. <laughs> Excuse me. So cute. I love seeing um, kids from every different uh, country. Always so cute. Okay. So as I look around this mall, first of all, you look up, you can tell it's huge. I've already said that 200 times. Ooh. But I'm seeing a Rolex store, another watch store. I think that might be like a cologne store or something. Uh, but already it's like a lot of designer brands definitely nothing that I can afford um, I see there's a coffee place up here a Ralph Lauren actually that is a Ralph Lauren with a Ralph's coffee <laughs> so like they're doing more than just clothes or more than just uh, what is Ralph Lauren I honestly don't don't know I think that's something that uh, not sure. Calvin Klein, Chanel, Christian Louboutin. Louboutin. I know this might be dumb, but I always thought that Louis Vuitton was the same as Louboutin, that, and they're just shortening it. I have to say, I'm from America, and America does not do malls the same way. This is this is way bigger, way nicer. Oh man, it's just better. It's just so much better. And this is just one mall. Okay, I didn't even realize how big it was, but if you walk to the side, there's another huge area, and it looks like it just keeps going, and I feel like it goes in every direction. I'm probably just gonna get very lost as we go through here. We have Chanel, Dior, Armani, Tom Ford. I know the names of all these brands, uh, but I don't. I don't think I can afford any of them. Pandora, Tudor. I'm probably saying all the all the names of the brands wrong. Nars. I love how um, every store has a very different theme. Like here we have a bunch of wooden stuff and um, like shelves on the wall. It looks so nice. Look at that chair. Like that's intentional, right? <laughs> of course, looks sick. All right, coming up on some Prada. Ba'an Pad Thai. It smells so good over here. I think I'm walking by all the perfume shops, so it smells crazy good. Where does this, does this go outside of the mall? Hmm. I feel like before I leave, I should at least hit one more floor, maybe two. 
because I don't want to walk in and then walk right back out, but I'm curious where that goes. So what I've been hearing about Malaysia is that it's a it's a very very famous place for uh, many people to go shopping, but not just Malaysians, people from all over the world. And I think I'm starting to understand why. Um, it's, it's huge. It seems like there's a lot of different stuff to get. You know what? Let's actually go up one more floor. Oh, super dry. I know Japan super dry. Um, but yeah, man, like. And I, I think Malaysia has no tax, so there's like a lot of savings to be had if you come here and buy all your all your goods, whatever that might be. Super dry. I think Japan Super Dry is a pretty cool brand. We have a fresh, an origins. I think that is a like lotions and face products. I honestly could use some. Um, I could use some face lotion, but it's probably super expensive because that's not just some basic face lotion. That's like quality face lotions I'm a guy I'm not like I don't know skincare products I probably should learn as I get older it's probably the kind of thing I should do to take care of myself but Kiehl's oops I'm so sorry Izizu Tommy Hilfiger beautiful mall maybe I'll cross over here Michael Kors. I mean, even their decorations are like, oh, it's a sticker, I see. And it's crazy, I've seen people just walking around with like, 20 bags from the same designer store. People come here with some money, I think. All right, I'm back in the center. Maybe I should try the other side as I keep keep moving through. But every time I get higher, it looks so cool. We have a guest store. I'm gonna pull over right here for a minute. So I have to say, one of my favorite things about travel is just like seeing things, right? Obviously, you have to see the people, you have to see um, the places that people are in. And as I walk around, I am super, super impressed with um, Kuala Lumpur as a whole, but obviously, and especially their malls. It really just shows me that these people do it big. They love their malls, and I get it now. I get it, I love their malls too. I'm probably gonna have to start stopping off here anytime I'm traveling around Asia to do my shopping out here. But also just to hang out because there's so much stuff to do. get to the fifth floor well I'm almost at the top so let's just do it let's go all the way up I hope I'm not skipping anything um, but at least I will have seen all the floors unless actually unless there is a, uh, a floor below the ground floor let me know if I'm missing that I know I'm not gonna be able to walk all the hallways because I can tell it it goes deep out here Honestly, I'm a little bit scared. This is a, a long way down. All right, so we have some food up here. Royal India. Two Sons Bistro. Let's see. These tables look super comfortable. 
The malls in my country do not have comfortable seating like this. Wow. Oh my gosh, and you know what else? These things, I love these things. These tables have a button like that. See that? So instead of having like a waiter, just like keep looking over at you, or if you're like need to order something, you don't have to like try to flag someone down. You simply just press a button and someone will come to you. Like it seems so obvious, but I don't know why not everyone has it. It's so innovative and it's just, it's better for the customers and it's better for the people working. So like, <laughs> so, so smart. I love that. This place is popping. What is this? Is this a coffee? Tea? Changi. I still don't know what it is. I see the cups though. It's gotta be coffee. Oh, okay, a tea spot. Well, I still have this, so yeah, I won't get another tea. I'll, I'll finish my tea first. All right. Oh wow, look, I can see out from here. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Cool. I've been looking this way into the building for so long. Kind of cool to see looking out this time. And I can see the back of the pavilion letters right there. Nilipiv, Nilap, whatever. All right. Kalia, whoa, what is that? This place is, oh, Tokyo Street. You know what? I'm thinking that the, the place I saw at the beginning of the video, <coughs> that was right next to this mall, I'm guessing that connects right here. So let's have a walk over there and see if that's it. Because I really wanted to check that out. The Empire. <laughs> that sounds so hood. Let's go to the Empire. I'm seeing some like massage chairs over there. Ooh. Hello. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Um, is it possible to try out the massage chair? Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, cool. All right. Awesome. Which one should I should I try? Which one? On the very end. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Oh, you were hold. Thank you. Oh, okay. You can have some if you want. <laughs> okay. Uh, take shoes off. For you, okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So is it like this, right? <laughs> wow. Ah, yes. Sir. Your watch, sir. Oh. Because it will squeeze your hand. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I just stick in here. Mm, yes, sir. Oh my gosh, this so, feels so good. Ah, yes. Oh, and it's not even. Ah, sir, I take off this one, so it will give more pressure. Oh, for your back. okay. Yeah. All right. I uh, give you the neck and shoulder program. Okay. All right. Okay. First, it will scan your body first. It's it, gonna scan my body? Yes, it will okay. scan your body. It's automatic scan. Yes. Cool. Yes. Okay. It will huh. locate your shoulder and everything. Oh, so it's like customized for my body? Yes, it will customize for your body. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. yes. Woo! Oh! Oh, my back just cracked. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh. So it's still just doing the scan, right? Ah, uh, yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> wow. I like how it reclined me all the way back. So this is for your YouTube channel, or? Yeah, YouTube. I see. Later, I follow your. Okay. To your cool. Channel. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. What was your name? Tishant. Tishant. Yes. My name is Shan. 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 Yes. Sir. Nice to meet you, Shan. My name is Brad. Brad. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Brad. So I see that you're working in Pavilion Mall. I want to ask you the question. Yes. 
What is, in your opinion, the best mall in Malay in Kuala Lumpur? Kuala Lumpur, I would say this one. This one? Yeah. Okay, so this come one and Pavilion Bukit Jalil. Which one? The Pavilion in Bukit Jalil. Okay. Yes. How far is that from here? Not sure, because I usually take the train. I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, do you have to say that because you work in Pavilion, or is that your honest opinion? That's my honest opinion. <laughs> yes. Okay. Woo! Okay. I'm excited to this one. Massage. Oh yeah. my god. To, to what? Just massage? Uh, it just started to massage. Got it, got it. Wow! Oh, this is so nice. So right now I'm sitting in this chair. It's squeezing on my feet, my calves, my hands and fingertips. It's on my forearms, my lower back right now. Ooh, my ankles even. I'm amazed by how many different like points there are that are squeezing my body and like moving around. Oh, I don't think I could get out of this if I, without help. Oh my gosh! Wow, this is this is crazy. Yeah, this is your first time massage. Yeah, first time like this. Yeah, oh, like this. I've had like um, like at a massage shop where I have a person massage. A person massage. And then I I've, I've sat in a massage chairs like this before, but oh, nothing like this before. Wow. So, <laughs> how long? If if someone buys this, can you just stay in this for all day? <laughs> I'm afraid not so because the maximum is 45 minutes. I 45 think. minutes. Yeah. I see. I see. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, even though this is amazing, I don't want to make everyone watching this video sit and watch me get a 45 minute massage. <laughs> yeah. So I think I, sh I think I should probably end it a little bit early. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, this one I give you like 10 minutes. Is it okay for you? Okay. You know what? Here, can I see? Um, I think I should pause the video because I do not want to leave early. I want to enjoy every second of this massage. So I'm going to pause the video, you guys. Um, I'm going to hang out and talk a little bit more with Chan. And um, we'll see you guys back here in a second. All right, so Sean is about to show me the Thai massage. Thai, what is it, Thai stretch? Yeah, Thai stretch. Thai stretch, all right. And he put these, uh, these flaps over my chest, which do heat therapy. He just keeps telling me all these new features and just keeps getting even crazier. <laughs> I have to say, walking through the mall alone was amazing, but for anyone who's watching this, if you're walking and you're tired and your feet are sore, you have back pain, anything like that, come check out this shop because this is an amazing break. Oh, it's crazy. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This is so intense. Oh. oh. Yeah, man, especially if you have like, I'm amazed how many um, like pressure points there are. My, my, the tips of my toes are being squeezed, my fingertips, the tops of my shoulders, and even like the very bottom of my butt bone, like the, the muscles right next to that. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it just gave me a, like a break. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Is it, did it finish? What is it? Uh, it seems like it's finishing. Is that? Uh, no, there's four minutes left. Oh shoot. Okay. I also really like the pressure from the sides of the shoulders. Yeah, the airbags. Yeah. Oh, it's airbags. Let me see. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is so intense. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. 
Wow, the neck one's nice too. What's the deal with this one? Uh, this one is the S9, it's the exclusive chair for now. Alright, I give you the boss one for you. Right, this is it. Okay. The boss one. Oh, uh, yes, boss. <laughs> yes, boss, yeah. I feel like I'm getting into a spaceship. Oh. Wow. Okay, so what he was telling me earlier is you have these speakers here on either side and they play music that you can set with, ooh, with your Bluetooth and it stays inside the chair. People in the room, <laughs> other people in the room won't necessarily hear. Oh, whoa. So is it doing the, the scanning thing right now? Yes, it's wow. doing the scanning Okay, because I can feel the, the feet getting closer and farther away. Oh, wow. Okay, so the last massage chair I was in, you said that was 15,000? Uh, yes. Um, ringgit? Yeah, ringgit. And then this one here is what, 25? 25,000 yes. ringgit. So if you're in the market for a chair, I'm gonna say I recommend one of these. I know I can't bring this around when I travel, but I would love to if I could, because <laughs> this is so nice. I love my massages. And honestly, I don't know how how I'd be able to get out of it after 45 minutes. Probably fall asleep here and just let it run for hours. Okay. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna sit here in my rocket ship, get a nice massage, and then uh, I'll come back later. Okay, so I am like fully reclined right now, and it's hard to keep track of everything else that's happening because it's like every part of my body. Oh, oh. Oh my god. It's like switching between pressure to stretch to vibration. Oh my god, this is crazy. Look, there's even a USB port on there so you can like charge your phone. Is that what that's for? Yes, oh. it's a USB port. Oh my gosh. I probably look so funny right now. <laughs> wow. This shop is super cool. They have obviously the chair. But then when you look around, there's like some, some lights with some like, I mean, this area looks super modern and then there's very relaxing music. And on the other side of me, there's a screen with some candles. It's almost like I'm, I'm actually in a massage shop right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the main difference is that this is free. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. I might be back here every day, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, even though I want to stay here all day, I think it's probably time to, to end the massage so I can continue the video. So I uh, Let's keep going, let's keep it recording, yeah. Uh, go ahead and, uh, can you stop the massage? All right, sure, sure. Yeah, so he's, he's on his like full on computer screen over there, choosing the options. Looks like there's some quick settings and a power button over here. Um, and, like, look at this. It's just every part of my body is totally taken care of. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you hold this one more time, please? Sure. As I crawl out of this chair. Okay. Oh. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, I'm gonna figure out what this store is called so I can show you guys in the video. Oh. Shoes on. <laughs> Forgot about the drink. Just like at a, at a massage place, they always give you a water. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, it was super nice to meet you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, babe. All right, have a great day. You too. Have a great day in Malaysia. Will do. Okay. okay. All right, he really may see me soon. I might just come back here like tomorrow. Okay, thank you. So the store is called Gintel Health Love Life. Sweet. All right, man. See you. Okay, well, that was an amazing break. I can't believe that place isn't just like totally packed with lines to wait for the massage chairs, but I might just look for these in all the malls I go to now because that was a great break from everything. Okay. I'm still walking toward Tokyo Street over here and 
I see there's a lot of signs. I'm seeing sushi, uh, specialty store. This looks like just like a big J Japanese area. Now I know this is a mall in Kuala Lumpur, but it just looks interesting and different, so I want to check it out. Um, I feel like I at least got to see um, a lot of the, the stories in this mall. Uh, a lot of things I can't afford, and this just looks like a, uh, a line on the ground that when you step over it changes completely, and I love looking for things like that. So, Tokyo Street, as we walk in, I'm immediately seeing, you see that classic, like, I don't know if it's bamboo, but that classic uh, Japanese style wall paneling. Um, lots of uh, Japanese style signs hanging down. Oh, wow. They even have the Sakura petals, the pink, pink trees. This is amazing. Be your own kind of beautiful. I will, I will be my own kind of beautiful. Okay. We've got uh, phone gadgets. Oh my God, they even have that, like the Japanese vending machine. This is so cool. I was in Japan in like a few months ago and uh, that's a really, really interesting place. If you guys haven't been to Japan, um, it's, it's very different from Malaysia. Wow, they have bonsai trees. I feel like they have all like the classic Japanese things here. What a... Maybe this connects to the Don Don Donkey place. Okay. Of course you have the arcade games. Wow, this is like a little hidden gem. I mean, I don't know guys. I'm, this is my first time here in Malaysia. Um, maybe this is a known spot, but I've never seen anything like this. This is really cool. In the back here, we have a Daiso Japan. Honestly, in America, that's one of my favorite places, mostly because I love containers. I'm a very like organized person. <laughs> you should see my house. I have like containers for everything and uh, I have like a place. I'm, I might be ACD, uh, ACD, OCD. And then on this side, we've got some um, some restaurants. We have the ramen spot over here. Look at these. Super cool. Even more phone cases. I should probably get a phone case soon because mine is mine is pretty uh, pretty gross looking. Smells very good in here. Matcha here, Kyoto. Well, I still have my drink, so it's too soon. What's that? Popcorn? That looks pretty bomb. Sushi. I haven't had sushi for a while. Maybe I'll get some at some point today. I just took the escalators all the way down because I was trying to leave the mall, finish the video, and go out to the street so I could go explore more things outside in other places. But I think I took it too far because now I'm in like a huge, huge food court and I'm literally lost in here. I can't even find signs to get out. So if you look around, it's like the longest walkway and I don't know which way is out. But what I do see is there's so much food. It's just food, lots and lots of it. There's a whole walkway where I am now. I walked through there to try to find a way out, but that leads to more food. Like lots of food over there too. It's like, I don't know where to go. This is crazy. Look at this, premium sisters creepy papaya. Actually looks pretty good. <laughs> There's a chocolate fountain over here. Oh, I think that might even be like a, like a Turkish ice cream. But I don't think he was uh, doing it at the moment because there was no ice cream in those things. Tony Roma's, the heck? That's a restaurant that I have in my hometown where I grew up, we used to go there. I didn't know that was an international place. Tea garden, look at these signs. That tea or that coffee looks so good. Madame Kwan's Cafe Cuisine, Nasi Lamak. I just had my first Nasi Lamak yesterday. Fire, it's so good. But I mean, honestly, like, someone help me get out of here. <laughs> I've eaten too much already and like, I want to try everything, but I don't have any room right now. Oh, 
Teppanyaki in a mall? What the heck? I have to go look at that. Thai seafood, Penang Signature, 8th Avenue. What is 8th Avenue? I think I might have seen a, a sign for that somewhere. Oh wait, I need to look at this teppanyaki right now. Oh, so it really is teppanyaki. They have a, a big cooktop here on the side. And I wonder, oh yeah, look at that, that cooktop. Oh, here we go. That is so cool. So yeah, the, the cooktop looks like it extends all the way to the side of each table. And then you have your teppanyaki chefs cooking the food for you. Oh man, the smells so nice. This is so cool. I've never seen teppanyaki in a mall before. Malaysia. Man, you guys are doing something different here and I love it. Okay, well, what should I do? Should I go back the way I came or should I go this way? Because I feel like I'm just going in circles here and I can't find a way out. Where are the exit signs? All right, well, let's try this. 8th Avenue. It seems like the food ends, so at least something's different, but I'm seeing escalators now, so I'm in a mall still, I think. All right, this is a Samsung store. Looks like we have a scene eyeglasses store. We have some jewelry on the sides. <laughs> That's cute. There's like a dragon fruit and a... Durian. Look at that. That's so cute. Durian bag. Oh man, that's awesome. Watson's. That's feeling familiar. I've seen Watson's in a few different countries. But how do I get out? I feel like, okay, basement one, two, Bintang Circle. I'm gonna try going up. Maybe I'm like too far down? So I think that there was an escalator accident at one point and it seems like people are being very careful when they get on and off. I'm so amazed by this place. So we're coming up. I think I see sunlight so that means that might mean I made it out. Yes, okay. Okay, I had gone down too far, I believe. <laughs> okay, I see the street. I made it out of the mall. I can say right now that was beautiful mall. I walked through, through pretty quickly, and uh, I know I'm gonna have to come back, but there's a lot of malls here, and I wanna see them all, so we'll do that in another video. Here we are, back in Bukit Bintang. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely did. Um, I, I, I'm just like speechless right now with how much amazing stuff there is in there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep walking and exploring this beautiful city of Kuala Lumpur. Um, I feel like I just have so much to learn about this amazing place. And it's really fun to be sharing with all of you. So let me know in the comments if there's things I, I did that you've never seen. But better yet, let me know in the comment what I missed because I know there's lots of stuff I I probably walked right by and didn't know what it was or didn't notice it um, but yeah thanks for welcoming me into your amazing country and I'll see you guys in the next one make sure you click subscribe to support my channel help me grow click the like button to uh, help my videos get seen by more people that way I can keep making these videos and sharing it with all of you okay see you guys in oh my god I look I can see it look at that tower this place is so cool. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Later.